Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I thought it would be nice to do some photography on this nice Sunday morning. I will take you guys with me on the GoPro that I will mount to my chest. Um, but the only thing that I will uh, restrict myself a little bit because for the last year and a half I have this lens, the 70 to 200 uh, zoom lens, but I haven't been using it that much. So for those who don't know, uh, 70 to 200 millimeters is basically a zoom lens. It's the, to really zoom in on your subject. And since I will be photographing on the Canon EOS R camera I'm filming on, it will be 70 to 200 since it's a full frame camera. So in order to get the GoPro on my chest, I have to use this ridiculous mount. It's really weird to put on your body. But it's very practical, so let's see how this works again. I never remember. Okay, well, that's it. That's where the GoPro will sit. And that's how you guys get to see my photography session. So welcome to photo number one. As it turns out, it's a lot harder to photograph with the 70 to 200 zoom lens in the forest, but I think I'm pretty sure that I found my first photograph and I'm going to take it right now. So that's on 200 millimeters. I will also zoom out a little bit and get it like so with a little bit more. For photo number two, I came to this part of the forest where it's pretty dark. I hope you guys can see something down there, but I'm going for this minimalistic shot that I like to take usually in summers, but now also during autumn. As I said in the intro video, I don't use this lens that much, but every time I do use this lens, um, I realize again how clear the image is that comes from this lens. And as you can see, there's this red line up here, meaning that it's a Canon L lens, a professional lens. And that's probably why the image quality is so sharp and really nice. Um, don't get me wrong though, this lens is from 1999, so it's an old lens, but it still holds up in 2022. So I haven't been photographing anything for the last couple of minutes because I couldn't find a nice subject. But I think I found it. I think the couple of ferns that are hanging there are great subjects. So I'm going to photograph those right now. And that's not the shot I'm looking for. I think I need to focus on the middle one. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. and also in landscape. Looks great, looks fantastic. Really glad I found this nice subject. I found some pedestals growing there on the path. And they're really nice, a really nice detail that I'm able to pick out with the 70 to 200 lens. It's just very hard to focus on them because this lens, if you're at a certain length, it's really hard to keep focused, to keep the lens still. But the photo came out very nice, so I'm happy. And that has been it, taking photos with the Canon 70-200 zoom lens in the forest for the very first time. And overall, it was a great surprise. I mean, I really liked picking out so many details and get a really sharp image of those details. Because at the end of the day, this lens is just really sharp and really nice. I mean, I haven't seen the photos yet. They could all be unsharp, not in focus and shaky, but I don't think they are. So I hope you guys like the photos as well. 
if you guys did leave me a like it would be great if you want to see more outdoor adventures photography forests please subscribe for more thanks for watching